We're in the midst of an AI revolution. This seismic shift in industry will trigger and disrupt many job sectors. And this leads to excitement and outright fear. And many social media personalities and CEOs are saying, this is the end of human labor. And governments and corporations will create universal basic income, we'll all no longer have to work and every job that we do will be eliminated. AI will take over everything in every job sector. Right? At the core of this seismic change is something I call the AI stack. And I think it's comprised of four layers, the infrastructure layer, the model layer, the framework layer, and the application layer. These go beyond the LLM model layer or what we know as chat GPT. I'll delve into each of these layers and show you that's gonna amplify human creativity and skill. And in each layer, we'll show where the true opportunities lie for you and highlight one layer in particular that I think has the most explosive potential. Let's start with the infrastructure layer. And this is comprised of companies like Nvidia who are supplying the chips, the GPUs to run AI models. We also see the rise of AWS and Azure as they host these models for other people to use. Now we've seen something very similar to this over the last 30 years. In the last 30 years we've had, and what we're living through is the internet revolution. Revolution. And there was a massive build out at scale for people to build hosting and services to host websites. And the same type of growth is going to happen here in the AI layer. And as we build out the infrastructure layer, we saw companies in the internet revolution like Azure and AWS and companies like Heroku, Netlify, and a company like Railway, which we use here at Coder Foundry to host student websites, all were built out in response to host websites. And this build out and infrastructure layer will be no different for the AI revolution. And the same jobs that were built out over the last 30 years will explode again over the next 30 years. And that's system engineer, hardware engineer, DevOps, security, all of those specific skill sets will be required for this build out. The opportunities are vast and ongoing, though it may be limited to some people because of a VC money raise if you want to start up in this space but the opportunities are there and make no mistake, they will be built out over the next 30 years. Next up is the model layer. And this is probably the most famous layer that we have today. And the company that's most famous in this area is OpenAI who created ChatGPT. And a lot of people, when they think of AI, this is what they're thinking about. And the model layer is composed of a lot of companies currently right now. But in addition to OpenAI, we're seeing people like Midjourney, Stable Diffusion, other chat vendors like Gemini from Google, Copilot from Microsoft. And while this is the central part or the brain of AI, it's not the biggest layer here. I do think there's lots of opportunities for data engineers, data scientists, and people who train models, but it's a limited and smaller than scope and scale than the infrastructure layer. But the opportunities here will be vast and ongoing and there's a lot of opportunity here for some startups to play in this space. Next up is the framework layer. And this is where we're going to build tools and frameworks to support AI. And these are frameworks like PyTorch and TensorFlow that allows us to train models and host models. We also, to a less degree, see C Sharp is used in ML.NET to make model training easier to do. In addition to this, we'll see framework and tooling built around building applications. And we've seen that with the release of Blazor. And Blazor has new AI smart components built right into the framework itself so that we can build applications that support AI. Now, the opportunities are here for people to create new tools or new frameworks or maybe open source projects. I think the opportunities are in here are really good. It's just smaller in scope and scale than say the infrastructure or the application layer. But nevertheless, the opportunities exist. Let's consider the application layer. And the application layer is the most explosive potential for you, companies, and entrepreneurs. And this is the layer where we utilize all the other layers that are being built out to build applications and services on top of these models and all this infrastructure. And this will revolutionize the way some job sectors are done and it will disrupt others. But make no mistake, this is the most explosive layer for potential for you because what we can do is learn how to code and build applications on top of these layers. This will not replace developers. This will create the need for more. The only people saying 
the application developers will be automated or people who don't know how to code. People that know how to code will make a fortune in this layer. If you look at the internet revolution of the past 30 years, every social media company was created in response to the internet build out. And this is from Facebook to Twitter to TikTok. In fact, Google was built and formed for the need to index web pages. And then of course, YouTube was created. And now we even had Apple who released an iPhone because we wanted to carry the internet in our pocket. And that spawned a whole app space. And make no mistake, the same thing will happen in the AI revolution. Developers will come in and create new apps and new services, and they will create companies that will become the new titans of tech. 10 years from now, we will look back and we'll see five more new companies that are the name brands that we all know and love, and they will build things that we didn't know we needed, but we have to have. And this is the most explosive potential for you because the barrier is low because we all we need to know is how to code and how to build web applications on top of all of this infrastructure being built out. Now, the only people saying that AI will replace all developers are people who do not code. And people that code and bring their creativity and knowledge to a certain industry stand to profit greatly. Now, I want you to think about this. Do you really think that ChatGDP is the final form or the last app that will ever be built. Let me phrase it another way. Do you think all of these companies are spending billions of dollars to build out compute to service their own needs to make ChatGDP to run faster or only for mid-journey to make better images? Did we build out all of that web hosting space so that Microsoft could host websites? No, they build it out all of this because they're banking on the fact that thousands of companies will come in and build applications on top of all of this capacity. And that's what happened in the internet revolution. And that's what's going to happen in the AI revolution. And I don't want you to miss it. Don't be scared of naysayers and fear mongers out there saying that AI is the end of all work and no longer will we need developers. The AI revolution will build out new apps and services and people will prosper in this area. And all they have to do is learn how to code. At Coder Foundry, we believe coding skills will be in demand for the foreseeable future because the application layer will have to be built out. People are going to prosper and take advantage of the AI revolution. So what I need you to do is to skill up and not quit because some social media person told you that all work is going to end. It's not. The application layer will be the most explosive potential for an individual to break in and participate in the AI revolution. And now is the time. Hope this helps. Good luck and keep coding.